Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we're going to be customizing the new Dominator FX in GTA Online. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys, today we're going to be customising one of the new drip feed cars and technically we already have this in the game, as you can see just to the right of it we have the police variant which we actually got last week in the drip feed and we went ahead and customised that, it was a very very cool car and now we have a civilian version of it which you can see here um, it's based on a fox body mustang for those who don't know um, it does have some customization elements from uh, some other Fords as well, like the Sierra Cosworth. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the big whale tail like the Vapid Uranus had. Um, but it does have some cool customization, uh, and I want to build this as a sort of street civilian vehicle. So let's take it up to the custom shop and see what we can do with it. All right, so here we are in the custom shop. As you can see, the primary color is orange, secondary color is black. So anything you see in those colors will be the corresponding parts. So I imagine most of the parts, if not all of them, are gonna be the same as the police version, obviously without the police lights and stuff like that. Uh, but we start off with arch covers. We can go for extended ones, we can go for plastic ones, or bolt-on arches. I'm not a fan of those, so we're going to leave those. We'll go for full armor, full brakes. And then the first customization option we have is front bumper options. So we've got the stock bumper, we can go for a small splitter. We've got the sport bumper, the grated bumper, the tuner bumper. The race bumper, a race with lights, and the full race package with a splitter, strut mount, some little fog lights in there, and a tow eye. Um, these are all the same as the police variant, for those wondering. I am going to go for this one, the race bumper. I think that looks pretty cool. Rear bumper options, we've got the stock. We can go for a sport bumper. We got the tuner bumper, we can go for a wheelie bar, and we got a wheelie bar with a parachute if you're building this into a drag car. These are also the same as the police variant. I'm going to go for the sport bumper to match the front. Uh, no visual engine customization, but we'll go for the level 4 upgrade. Now, exhaust options. We got the stock exhaust, we can go for a sort of quad version of that. So it just adds some more exhaust on the right hand side. We got the twin chrome tip exhaust. We got the race exhaust. We got the hot ring exhaust out the side, and it is out the side on both sides. We got a titanium version of that, and then we got the fender mounted, which comes out behind the rear wheels, and that is on both sides as well. I'm going to go for the twin chrome tip. I think that is the best option for this car. Grill options. We got the stock grill. We can go for a painted grill, which is going to be secondary color. We can go for the grated grill. We got a primary version of that. We got a badged grill. We got a painted version of that, and then we got the letterbox grill. Uh, we went for the letterbox grill on the police version, so I'm going to go for um, the painted badged grill on this. Um, or do we just go for the badged? We're just going to go for the badged because I'm going to change up the secondary because I'm not a fan of the two-tone look. Uh, so yes, we'll leave that black. Um, the hood options, not easy to see in black. Uh, let me actually just go ahead and change that to like a grey uh, just so you guys can see that a little bit better. So there we go. Um, so we've got the stock hood, we've got a ridged hood which just sort of adds those little ridges on the side of the cowl there. We've got a ridged intake hood, which adds a scoop on top of a cowl, which I always think looks a bit odd. We can go for a low cowl. We've got the high cowl, the twin vented hood, the turbo cover, and then we got race vents. 
I'm going to go for the low cowl. I think that looks pretty cool. There it is. Um, horn options, uh, you've heard of those all before. Light options, it does have pretty yellow lights. And um, we'll check out all the lights when we go outside as well. Um, obviously, you can get the coloured lights in the... Uh, car meet the LS car meet or if you have an arena workshop you can get the colored lights in there livery options next so these are different to police version because they had police liveries so let's see what we got we got the two white stripes we can go for classic stripes so it's a little stripe up the side there and it does add that big thick stripe up the bonnet we got snake eater which is a reference to the sort of Cobra pack that you could get on these, I guess. Uh, we've got the overhead black stripe, which just goes over the bonnet and over the rear, over the trunk. We've got the black snake eater. Okay. We've got the twin bottom stripes. So it adds a stripe up the side there. Um, and just up the sort of rear quarter panel uh, and it does add that little dominator bit on the side we've got the red snake eater which is like a stripe with the logo that looks quite nice i guess uh, we've got the geometry snake eater we've got hardcore stripes okay that's kind of like if you want to build it into a low rider sort of look we've got a rusty version we got old school with corkers on the side. Technology we got old school rusty. That's quite a cool livery. I like that one. If you're building it into sort of like a banger, I guess. We got rusty graffiti and we've got race flames. The rusty graffiti is quite cool. It makes it kind of look like a junk car, I guess. Um, so yeah, some nice options in there. Some random ones as well. I'm not really a fan of any of them. So, um, I'm not going to go for them, um, but not too bad. Uh, the mirror options next. They do have these big plastic square mirrors. We can go for a painted secondary version of those. We've got the square mirrors. We've got the painted square mirrors. We've got the vintage chrome. And we've got a secondary version of those. We've got the race mirrors and a secondary version of those. We got the import mirrors. We got the import mirrors in chrome, and that is all of them. I'm going to go for the um, square mirrors in. Uh, do we go for them? I'm going to make the primary and secondary the same color. Uh, but do I want to go for primary mirrors? No, I'm going to keep them plastic. I think that'll look better. Plate options. That's where the plate is on the back. It doesn't have a front plate. So that's something to note. Uh, we do have primary, secondary, and trim color options. We'll come back to those at the end. Uh, roll cage options next. Uh, it won't let me switch the interior view. I don't know why that's happening in this update. It won't let you switch the interior view in some of these cars when you're customizing them. Um, but we can go for the standard look with no cage. We can add the street cage, which is just in the back. Go for the half cage which is like a dash dodger type and then we got the full roll cage which goes through the dash and it's got a nice little x in the back there it's actually got a double x as well not going to go for a roll cage sunstrip options we can go for a plastic sunstrip primary secondary carbon or vapid um, I also don't like sun strips, so we're not going to go for those. Skirt options. We've got the stock skirts. We can go for street skirts. We've got a carbon version of those. We can go for the sport one. And we've got the carbon sport skirt. We've got race skirts and carbon race skirts. Flush skirts, which just sort of bulges out the sides. And it sort of blends into the wheel arches, if that makes sense. We've got the tuna skirt, which is sort of a more radical version of that. And we've got the intake skirt, which adds a little sort of duct on the side. I'm going to go for the flush skirt to sort of tie it into the front bumper. I think that'll look quite good. 
the spoiler options next. I imagine these will all be the same as the police car as well. But we've got the small bolt-on lip spoiler. We can go for a ducktail. We've got a large ducktail. Which is sort of like a smallish drag wing. We've got the sport spoiler. We've got a rolled lip spoiler. We got the race spoiler, which is very sort of like radical, I guess. It also sort of blends into the side. We got the bridge spoiler, a touring spoiler, the drag wing. So it's a proper drag wing. We got a painted drag wing, and that is a lot. I'm actually going to go for this one, the rolled lip spoiler. That looks quite nice. I like that. Suspension option. You do get quite a drop in this thing. Um, I'm not a fan of slamming cars. I just like to get rid of a bit of arch gap. So we'll just go for the street suspension. We've been applying all the street options. So that's sort of fitting, I guess. Um, transmission. We'll go for full transmission and turbo tuning. Now, the wheel options. If you want to match these wheels... You can't get these wheels exactly, um, like if you do want to paint the stock wheels. But in the tuner category, there are a couple of wheels that look similar. So you've got the Drift Miser ones and Slicer. Like Slicer is the closest to the stock wheels. So if you do want to paint the stock wheels, they're the closest thing that you're going to get. Um, we did those on the police car version, so I want to pick something a little bit different. I'll have a little look through the wheels and see what looks good. Okay, I found these wheels in the muscle category called Blacktop, and I've gone ahead and painted them black. I think they look kind of cool. They're sort of just generic five-spoke muscle wheels. I think they look very nice. Um, we'll go ahead and apply bulletproof tyres and paint the windows, sorry, tint the windows with a bit of light smoke. And just makes it look a little bit meaner and there we go we just need to go ahead and paint this thing now uh now i think a red would look good for this but everybody seems to be going for red so i'm actually going to do something a bit different and since this is a mustang i'm going to pick a blue color now we did actually go for a blue with a police car and it did look pretty good um, I'm quite liking the Saxon blue. That looks nice. Uh, some of these blues are a bit too um, too strong. Like the colours are a bit too strong. I think, yeah, the Saxon blue. We'll go with that. And we're going to go for that on the secondary. Now, it is like a two-tone, as you can see there. It has a little white stripe around it. And the whole sort of top half is also secondary so you can go for like a two-tone design if you want to i'm not really a fan of it so we're just going to match it in and that actually looks amazing and i'm not even going to touch the pearlescent i think it looks good how it is the trim is going to change the whole interior uh to whatever trim color you choose i'm going to leave it black but the secondary color just to note does change the color of the stitching on the seat uh, and that little bit of stitching around the dashboard so if you do plan on changing that and there we go that is the car fully customized let's take it out on the street see how it drives and we'll open up all the doors have a little look around see how the lights work all right it is 7 a.m in the world of los santos we're driving around in our street version of the dominator fx it looks absolutely smashing in this Saxon blue colour, I think it actually looks really nice. Um, I went for a blue colour on the police car, actually, and I think it suits it really well. A lot of people have been painting it red when they've been customising this, because Fox Body Mustangs, red was like a very common colour for them. I think the blue looks a little bit nicer. It sounds amazing, this thing. I've been driving the police version around for the last week and I really, really like that. I like how this thing sounds. I already know how it drives. It drives exactly the same as the police version. And I do like how it drives. It has quite a bit of power. It's not going to be the fastest thing. But it seems to handle really well. 
uh, and of course it looks absolutely fantastic as well I'm glad that they finally added a fox body mustang to the game but let's pull over somewhere we'll open up the doors and have a little look inside all right so here is the car with all the doors open um, the engine bay looks exactly the same it's not very high detailed um, I really wish Rockstar had given some of these vehicles um, a little bit of visual customization in this update I think it would have made it look a lot better um, like you're looking at this engine the air cleaner looks terrible the valve covers look terrible the rest of the engine bay is even worse uh, I mean look at the battery it just doesn't look great so yeah keep the hood closed if you're taking this to a car meet but the rest of the car actually looks very high detailed I may have had a minor incident as we were driving around the interior is slightly different from the police variant obviously it doesn't have those two shotguns um, in the middle because it is the civilian version it is actually a manual it has a clutch a brake and an accelerator and it has a nice looking manual gear knob the gauges also look really nice they look like they're out of an old mustang so that's very fitting i don't know if this is a custom interior or whether this is stolen from one of the other muscle cars most likely uh, but the interior looks pretty good actually the seats look very nice the stitching on the seats is fantastic it is a two-door vehicle so you can only take one passenger with you so the headlight options um, we just have on or off there's no special little lights we can't use the indicators but it's nice that this thing does have indicators um, there was no bumper options that added lights we had a little covered fog lights obviously they're not going to work um, but yes we've got the lights there those are the tail lights in case you're wondering we'll go ahead and put the reverse lights on so the reverse lights are just in the center and those are the brake lights there so would I advise that you buy the new Dominator FX well yes in my opinion I think so um, I already said the police variant of this thing is very very cool I recommended that you guys buy the police variant the police variant costs nearly five million dollars if you get the standard price this thing costs 1.5 million so it is a significantly cheaper vehicle uh, and it has the same performance as the police variant I don't believe it is any different it sounds the same most of the visual customization is the same the only real difference is the siren obviously the police light bar and the shotgun on the interior I'm very happy that they finally added a Fox body Mustang I have to admit I'm not a huge Mustang fan in real life but I have always liked the Fox body I think it looks very cool and it does have some very good customization as well it's a nice addition to GT Online but let me know what you guys think are you gonna be buying this thing have you already bought the police variant or you have you been waiting for this thing to come out personally I think both are really cool but I prefer the police version it just it's just something a little bit different a little bit more unusual but both are very cool cars well, thanks so much for watching I hope you did enjoy the video if you want to keep up to date with the latest GT Online drip feed customization Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll be back next week with a brand new vehicle. See you then.